Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys, I decided to give you guys a nice uh, sneak peek of all the fragrances that I have. I've only been collecting for about six months right now and I have a couple that are really old and the majority of the rest are all brand new. So to start it off, big shout outs to my Mikers, also to uh, Fragrance Brothers, and also to Drac Doc. Uh, those guys, big shout outs, those guys have kind of helped me uh, expand my collection if you will. And right now I am wearing this uh, Play On Con shirt right here. The reason I'm wearing this Play On Con shirt, this is from last year. Every year I go down to Alabama and I go to uh, Play On Con, which happens at the 4-H Center down in, uh, it's close to Huntsville, Alabama. I think it's Calera or something like that. But I'm wearing this shirt from Alabama because I remember seeing the video with the Fragrance Brother and also with uh, My Bikers or Dan. They did a video, I haven't been able to find it on YouTube lately, but uh, they did that. So now I'm gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna go over all the fragrances that I have individually, just a quick list, no sense or anything like that, just a, just a quick brief look of everything that I have. So ain't that guys? We'll hey guys, we moment. are back and I'm gonna go just do a quick look at all the uh, fragrances that I have. So I'm not gonna do the bait, I'm not gonna do the notes or anything like that. It's just gonna be a quick run through of everything that I got. So we are gonna start out with uh, Versace Porome right there. Uh, it's pro That was my first Versace that I got. Then we move on to uh, Issey Mitake's Porome. I'm just gonna call it that. We move on to Love and Luck right there. Move on to Insurrection Pure 2. If I can get a good uh, shot of that, Insurrection Pure 2. Move on to Insurrection Wild. This one basically smells like uh, Terry Mugler's uh, Pure Havan. And we're going to go with one of my oldest bottles right here, which is uh, Lacoste. Uh, this is Lacoste Porome. Um, I've had this bottle for a very long time. We're moving right down to uh, Creed's. Hopefully this will be in view. We're moving down to Creed's Millisem Imperial. Moving over to uh, Amen, Terry Mugler, Amen. Moving on to my next, uh, this is probably my favorite um, my favorite Versace that I have, and this is Mano Fresh. That's the way I pronounce it. I could be pronouncing it wrong. Moving on to Tom Ford's Extreme. Then we have Blue de Chanel. Love this fragrance. It's awesome. Uh, the next one we have is another is a sampler of Green Irish Tweed. So hopefully those uh, focus in correctly. Uh, moving right over here, we have Aqua DGO. Uh, this is another really old bottle that I have. I have about three, maybe four really old bottles that I have. So this one is uh, Aqua Digio Puro. Then we move on to Dolce & Gabbana's The One. I'm not sure if uh, that will come across all that well, but it is The One. <laughs> the uh, One of my latest additions is Boss Bottle, otherwise known as Boss Number 6. Next one is Cool Water, the old classic. Uh, the, it's, a, it's a great fragrance. Um, it smells a lot like green Irish tweed. The next one we have is my latest edition, and this is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. Love this fragrance. It's awesome. I like the pepper in it and all that. It's pretty sweet. The next one we have here is uh, Gucci, Gucci Guilty Intense. I'm not sure if the uh, name will come across all that well in the video. Uh, the next one I have is another really old bottle, and this one is, if I can zoom in a little bit possibly, this one is Hugo Boss Bal de Serrani. I believe that's how it's pronounced, but that is another really old bottle that I have. Next one is Creed Aventus, so hopefully uh, that focuses in. Next one is YSL Loam. Love this fragrance as well. Absolutely awesome. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Lamal. 
everybody knows this bottle pretty much everybody has this from what I understand uh, next one is the uh, another old classic this was probably one of the first ones that I picked up when I started my collection six months ago and this one is Nautica Voyage uh, moving on we have Uomo and I just found out about this one a couple few weeks ago uh, watching one of uh, my my Mikers videos so I picked a little bottle of that of that up and then we move on to Versace Eros and uh, to be honest with you I'm not a huge fan of this one uh, that's why I didn't buy a bottle of it my still my favorite is the man we have uh, one million right here we also have Amen Pure Malt just a little sampler we have Prada Luna Rosa and I'm sorry I kicked the stand there by accident then we also have another Prada and this one is uh, Prada Amber and I have not tried out either one of the Pradas yet but uh, this is another uh, another one that I just recently picked up and then the last bottle that I have here is Jakar Noor which is another really old bottle um, the oldest bottles that I have are Jakar Lacoste right here and uh, I believe this Aqua Digio Pure this Aqua Digio Pure Home is another really old bottle that I have other than that there's about 31 fragrances total here um, hopefully I didn't miss any of them I was trying to go through uh, the lines but there's a total of 31 here guys and to be quite honest with you I still have to give another th shout out to my micers Dan I have to give a shout out to the Fragrance Brothers and also Drac Doc because those guys kind of helped me expand my entire fragrance collection. So guys, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It's just awesome. I, I, I love seeing all these videos on all these fragrances and you know trying them out ahead of time. And basically all the bottles that I buy are ones that I actually enjoy wearing myself. So guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will talk to you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.